After weeks of speculations, the SBA has finally released guidelines on the EIDL grant. Please stay tuned after the bumper for more information. Get the money. Get the money. The good news is that $10,000 is available for this particular program and the SBA has given guidelines for three different categories. The first guideline is for those who live in a low income area and they can demonstrate that they've had a 30% reduction in revenue over an eight week period. They are eligible for the $10,000. Also, there are applicants who filled out applications and submitted the necessary paperwork, but there were no funds available. The SBA has indicated that these potential applicants are also potentially eligible to get the entire $10,000. The third classification is for those who have not applied. All instructions that have been sent out prior to the bill being signed was that don't apply, wait until the portal reopens. These new guidelines indicate that if an applicant did not apply on or before December 27th, they are not eligible for the advance at this particular time. My recommendation is for those who have not applied for the EIDL grant to go ahead and apply. And when you start corresponding with the SBA, let them know that you are applying for the loan, but you will also want to be considered for the grant. After reading the guidelines, it appears that all of these rules are based on the SBA and their interpretation more so than what's in the law. So if you work with your case manager and the team there at the SBA, even though it may not apply to all applicants who apply after December 27th, you may be able to get them to give you a grant. I'm sure because they're using such stringent rules, there are going to be funds available because at this point, there's more than $20 billion available for this program. For those who've already applied, Know that the SBA says that they will be reaching out to you within the next couple of weeks via email. They caution to only respond to emails with sba.gov at the end of the email address. This should be your guideline to ensure that you're providing information to the right entity and that you're not giving out your information to fraudulent entities. So as you can see, once again, based on these guidelines that they provided, a lot of this program is being left up to the interpretation of the SBA, and they do have guidelines to be able to provide the grant to any applicant. So make sure that when you're applying and when you're talking or dealing with people within the SBA, that you're nice and cordial and that you ask them kindly to provide you with the information that you need in order to get the loan as well as making sure that you get the grant and hopefully each applicant can get the $10,000 grant. If you like information like this, please hit that like button, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell so that you can get future videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and get the money.